Hey, happy Tuesday, March the 5th, Hebrews 3, 7 through 19. It's a long passage, so here we go. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion on the day of testing in the wilderness, where your ancestors tested me, tried me, and saw my works for 40 years. Therefore, I was provoked to anger with that generation and said, They always go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my anger they will not enter my rest. Watch out, brothers and sisters, so that there won't be an, in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourages each other daily Why it is still called today, so that none of you is hardened by sin's deception, for we have become participants in Christ if we hold firmly until the end the reality that we had at the start. As it is said, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. For who heard and rebelled? Wasn't it all who came out of Egypt under Moses? With whom was God angry for 40 years? Wasn't it with those who sinned, whose bodies fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they would not enter his rest, if not to those who disobeyed? So we see that they were unable to enter because of unbelief. The warning of this passage is a warning against unbelief. See, if you have heard God's voice, do not reject the call of God by His Spirit. The reference is to God's people in the wilderness who had heard God's call. They had seen God work, and yet they still rejected Him. To hear and be drawn by God to salvation is an incredible experience. I, I remember throughout my life all the times God has drawn me closer, where, where it feels like He's kind of pulling me in. And the difficulty is in our responsibility to surrender, you see. Uh, God's people in the wilderness hardened their hearts. That's the quote in the text. They hardened their hearts against the work and the word of God. Many have asked through the years, what is the unpardonable sin? I believe the only sin God will not forgive, or the only sin that God cannot forgive, is the rejection of Him. He can't forgive that. To reject the Holy Spirit's work in salvation is to reject God and His work on our behalf. We've spent these few weeks considering Jesus. Throughout this book of Hebrews, we're going to consider Jesus continually. To reject the Son and to reject His work of salvation means we do not believe in the God who loves and provides for us a means of everlasting and abundant life. These words are a warning. All right, see you tomorrow.